In this video, I'll show you how to add a background to your subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Welcome to this video. My name is David. Let's begin. So I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro and that is just a blank project. So all I need to do is uh, just drag in uh, the video I want and the subtitles to this particular video. So I'll just drag those uh, inside the project section. And this is the video and these are the subtitles in an SRT format. So my assumption is you already have the subtitles or probably you're creating your subtitles inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sequence uh, from our video and we'll just drop it inside there and then we can just move this to the side. Next up, we're just going to drag and drop our subtitles there. And once we drop them, you'll see the option to add this new caption track and you'll select the format I want it to be a subtitle, but there are different formats, Australian OP47, CEA608, CEA708, but let's go with subtitle. And once we do that, since the subtitle file I'm adding already has uh, the same time codes as this particular video, then I'll go with the source time code and I'll just click on OK. Once I do that, if I just click on one of the subtitles that appears here, and if you don't see that, You'll need to come to the graphics panel here and uh, just see if the captions will come out. Uh, you should be able to see that. Once I click on that, you'll notice that, uh, let me just bring this down, the subtitles are extremely small. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to click inside here, uh, just on any subtitle, press on Control A so that you can select all the subtitles and this is just one selected. If you actually change the size for this, let's just change that. Let's say to around 66, only that is going to be updated. If I click on the next, the subtitle is extremely small. So if I click on this and then press on Control Z, we'll have the smaller or original subtitle. So you'll need to click on one subtitle, press on Control A, and then set the font size that you want that will apply to all the subtitles. Let's say we set it to around 47, uh, press on enter. And the subtitles are a little bit bigger and hopefully uh, easily readable and all that. Now, we want to add a background to this. By default, when you work with uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, it doesn't add the background by default. So you'll need to go over to this particular side and move uh, to the appearance section. So we have a feel we have the stroke, we have a background, we have a shadow. At the moment, if I can just move this slightly, you'll notice that the subtitles have a shadow. If I uncheck this, then almost everything disappears. Uh, but basically, it's because it's on a white background, that's why you cannot see it. If I can change this, uh, this color to something like yellow, let's go to some yellow right here, but you'll see this notification uh, that mentions that uh, it's not broadcast safe, you'll be able to see the subtitles. But let's press on Control Z to go back to the yellow and then let's turn the shadow back on. So the subtitles are there. But what we want to do instead of having the shadow is potentially have a background to our subtitles. You'll need to check this particular button here. We can just scroll this down and then set the color that we want. Let's say we want to go for a more or less like a, a dark color. Let's say uh, let's just go with this, the black, but it's at 0%. So we'll need to bump it up slightly so that we can see the background. And you'll notice that the background starts taking shape. Uh, but what we're going to be targeting is a semi-transparent background uh, to uh, and uh, that you can easily see through, but still see the subtitles. Now, one thing that happens is that since the shadow is selected by default, you'll notice that the, uh, like the background looks off. If you uncheck the shadow, you'll see the subtitle uh, very clearly on the background, but we can just adjust this to about 70, 75, or actually 75%. And I think that looks good. Uh, if I just press on the tilde key, I think that looks good. Uh, pretty awesome. So. Uh, that is actually how you add a background to your subtitle. And if you notice, this happens to all the subtitles because I had already pressed on 
control A to select all the subtitles as I was changing the font size and everything on the appearance side uh, from this particular side. So that's it for this video and that is how you can add a background to your subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.